Well, good morning, friends. It's Mav here. We've got another episode of Oxygen Not Included getting it all set up for us this morning. We got us a nice big cup of coffee. We're happy about that. Let's see what kind of shenanigans we can get into today. All right. So we've been getting some uh, pretty minor stuff set up lately in our base, and we've got this super lucky access to crude oil already. I mean, how often do you get crude oil this early? It just doesn't happen. Don't get too hot here, Nicola. Come on. Don't get hurt. That's not good. So <clears throat> we got us... Uh, we got some 73 degree crude oil coming through the base here. I mean, <laughs> that's that's pretty amazing this early in the game. Um, we're gonna we're gonna chill some stuff down nice and slowly. We're gonna take some of this heat out of the base. It's gonna be pretty cool. One thing that I uh, realized that I forgot about is I was gonna do a reed fiber seed. So. Let's do a little correction here. We want to do some pipes. Give me some pipes. Give me this pipe. And we're going to go right here. We're going to go right here. We're going to go this way. We're going to go that way. And we want to get rid of this. So we're going to get rid of those pipes right there. And what we're going to start doing is we're going to start taking some of our poo water and we're going to run it through this guy right where is he where is he where is he that we're going to start running our poo water through that because these things need poo water to live and we make poo water every day so let's use it up and we're going to need lots of uh thimble reed uh, fiber later on anyway for Atmos suits and carpet and all kinds of stuff. So might as well just get started. Let's see. Still got to figure out what we're doing over here. Oh, we're almost done analyzing this. That'd be really nice to finish that off. And then we got to figure out what it is we're going to do with the petroleum once we've got it done. And petroleum is uh, petroleum refining makes heat, makes makes a lot of heat. So we don't want to add a lot of heat to our base. Um, oh, we got an achievement. What do we get? What do we get? What is it? Distribute a thousand kilograms of oxygen using gas vents. Yep, that's because we finally got some oxygen generation going on over here, which um, we're gonna clog up this guy just because we don't want to clog him up. We need to uh, we need to start figuring out some power generation um, using using this hydrogen before we run out. And I'd really rather use hydrogen than coal because coal makes just an absolute ton of carbon dioxide, which we got to deal with. And dealing with carbon dioxide is really kind of a pain in the butt early game, so we don't want to deal with it. So. What we should do is figure out what to do with all this hydrogen and i don't really want to get refining online on the crude oil yet because that makes natural gas and then we have a whole nother gas we got to deal with oh we get some research done so what did we learn today folks we learned textile loom okay perfect start making clothing and we got carpeted towel hey how fortuitous because we just started making Thimble reed. So that takes a couple of cycles and then it'll drop off some fiber for us. So let's uh, let's get rid of this water issue here. We need to ditch this water because it's in our way. We'll do that. Come down here with that. And then we need some pipes. Should we just pump it straight into the oxalizer? No, that, that's gonna make a mess. That's gonna make a mess. Let's go up here. And then let's go like that. 
And then we need some power. We need some wire. Go like that. And then what we can do is we can come over here and we'll just cut this line for right now because we want to soak all this water up and make it go away. And that'll give us some more room in here to play around and mess things up. And we've got some dupes we got to reschedule. Nope, everybody's good. Do, do, do. Everybody's good. We got one dupe on every schedule, except they're all renamed to default. Nope. There we go. I wondered what happened here. That's for our 10th dupe. And this is for our 11th. Except that really is a default schedule. Huh. wonder what happened. Oh, well. So we are backed up with... What do we got in here? Hydrogen and oxygen. Yeah, so we're backed up already. We got a new dupe time. What do we got? We could get a super farmer. We could get some sand. We've got a little bit of sand. We got a little bit of dirt. We don't need either of those. Or we can get a suit wearing dupe who goes super fast. Except decreased excavation with super hard digging. That is bizarre. And he's allergic to floral scent. I don't like Turner today. Glow stick. Oh, <laughs> we give out some rads. Um, you know what? Let's go with Travaldo as a farmer. How, how do you think about that, Travaldo? We'll do a farmer. And it is cycle 40. All right, Travaldo, welcome to the base. All right, now... We're up to 11 dupes. We only have 10 tables. And do we have 11 beds? It looks like we got a bed for Travaldo already. Looks like we got two Travaldos. Oh well. Happens in real life as well. There can be two Mavs. I don't know if the world's ready for two Mavs. But there could be. So. Here we go. We're going to suck all this water up. Eventually that'll get taken care of. And... We need to build us another mess hall because we're going to need another one. Boom, 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 boom. Get rid of that. And let's build one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Build one of those. Oh, research is done. We'll put a plant in there. We'll put another party line phone in there. We need some power. Uh-oh. Did I disable that? Who's scalding? Yeah, I figured you'd be the one scalding. So, guess what? You're going to come over here. Oh, you haven't been scalded enough to go in there. So, we're going to dump the new Travaldo in there. We need, also need to set his priorities. And the new Travaldo is going to be our farmer. How about that way? Oh, we didn't do priorities on Abe. Yeah. And then we also have some skill points to hand out. We got Meep, our digger. I don't know if I really need to get into super hard digging yet. I've already got a super hard digger. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. And then the new Trovaldo is a farmer. And Operator Abe. Let's just go into electronical engineering. Still not there. Yeah, are we out of... We're out of carbon dioxide over here. Which is good. Why is this stopped? Max gas pressure. Uh-huh. Oh, because you're locked up in here. We got we to gotta figure this out right quick. 
So let's go to hydrogen generator and let's go right there and we'll take a wire and we'll go right there and then we need ventilation and we'll go exit right here. And this is going to put some heat in our base, but we're going to just have to deal with it. We're also going to get rid of that copper generator or copper gen coal generator or, or copper generator. <laughs> Wouldn't that be neat? Okay, we need some research as well. Where are we at? Let's see. Let's see. Do we want to get into solid transport yet? Probably not. Probably not. Let's see. We don't really need that either. We could start getting towards exosuits if we really want to. Yeah, let's just get that knocked out and out of the way. Food, we're still at 51,000 calories. That's enough dupe for, or food for about five days, which means pretty soon we're going to need to start working on a critter ranch just because we're going to need, we're going to need some things for our, some food for our dupes. So... The only problem now is this thing's going to just go bonkers. We should probably put in we should probably put in a smart battery, but we don't have enough refined metal right now, of course not. So let's make 10 of these. <clears throat> we really need to get into smelting too. Smelting would be good, and we got to get into shearing these guys. I mean, there's all kinds of work we're we're just way behind on and now we're into the insufficient oxygen generation realm because we've got 11 dupes and one of these little guys going so yeah that's always good what's our water going good um what do we want to do we want to move some stuff here I actually want to do that little side project we're going to get working on here. And we get some new furniture. What did we get? We got to go, oh, but we can't do plastic quite yet. We can do plastic. Man, having plastic this early is almost a pain. It's almost hard. Let's see. Let's get that stuff swept up because it's a mess. Let's just do it. Let's get us a critter ranch in over here. How's the heat look on this side? Kind of rough. Let's, uh, let's make sure we block off this heat problem. What we're going to do is we're just going to cut all this out and um, hopefully it helps with the with the overheating issues we're going to we're going to try to avoid. And this one's not this battery's not going down because they're not connected. That one is filling that battery up. Let's just put this back together. I really want to get a battery down here. Let's see, battery. Here we go. And we'll put it right there and we'll do some automation. Oh, that's why I disconnected those batteries because, or these lines, because there's too much power. Yeah, too much power. Let's just take them apart again. Let's just take them apart again. So now that we got some oxygen actually flowing back into the base, we're doing better. We are using up some of this hydrogen. Um, and this is full of some oxygen. And mostly oxygen is flowing out in big packets. We got little packets of hydrogen. Okay. So we got us, we got us some power. That's good. We're going to turn this off at 90 and we're going to turn it back on at 10. And hopefully that thing fills up. A 
Let's see. So I didn't get a whole heck of a lot accomplished here, but let's get uh, let's get our foodstuffs in here. Station, grooming station. Put a grooming station right there, and we're gonna put a critter drop off, and we're gonna put two critter feeders, and then we're gonna put a door right there and we're going to put a tile right on top of it and how big is this room this room is 96 and we're going to knock it down to 90 sorry what did i say 96 is that right yeah 96 and we're going to knock it down to 93 and what's our critter room allowed to have our ranch where's it there is stable 96 tiles okay so what we're going to do is we're going to just start dropping hatches in here and we want element filter for hatches and we're going to start feeding them let's feed them sedimentary rock let's do the same thing with the hatchlings and we're going to aim for um we're aiming for stone hatches is what we're doing. And then we'll copy the settings to here. This, we're gonna lock this door. We just don't need anybody going through there messing it up. And then over here, we're gonna put hatches and hatchlings. And we're just gonna start wrangling these guys up. Capture, capture. Oh, nobody's. <laughs> Nobody can capture them yet. Okay, why do we have issues with, is it temperature related? It says air pressure. We don't have the air pressure. What is this guy? This guy's got an irrigation problem, but that we kind of knew that was gonna happen. So we have air problems throughout the base. And I'm sure you guys all saw that coming. So let's come over here. We're going to come all the way over here and we're going to just run an extra vent right here. And hopefully that'll help move some of the air to the other side of the base. Oh, boy. Yeah. Y you just need to finish that and be done with it. Or get out of there. Okay, we got out most suits. At least the ability to make the stations at this point. So... Where's our research going to go now? We don't have a lot of... So we're actually researching way faster than we can cope with things. So we're just going to th throw something down here. And... Look at little, little cute little baby Hatch. Oh, Aw, he's sleeping. Aw. Okay, let's see here. Let's build that right there. How we doing down here? We're doing good. This is not going to go out really fast. So let's make this go faster. We're going to go over here and we're going to go up. And we're going to put in a liquid vent right here because we want that to go faster. Actually, we're not going to put a liquid vent in right there because because it'll end up underwater. We're gonna put it up all the way up here. And then, doops, 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 doops. Mm, Bert's good, Bert's good. We like Bert. Copper, I, I don't know, the copper's calling to me. But then there's Bert. We can do some agriculture on the side, we can do supplying. Um, yeah, let's go, let's go with Bert, Bert, let's see here, today is, we're going to do, you're going to be a supplier, Bert, and today is cycle number 43, and welcome to the base, Bert, all right, so with the addition of Bert, we got our water kind of, kind of fixing this little issue here, we're going to move some air around, there, that ought to fix our issues with the plants, and we got a new mess hall in. We're almost done analyzing the leaky oil fisher and uh, got a little bit of base cooling. We got started on our 
little hatch farm up here, even though that's not being used yet. Yeah, we got a bunch of little things done today. And with that, I think that's going to be the end of uh, episode 9. Alright guys, have fun.